How's it going, guys? I have to look over because I got my big ass drink over here. I, oh God, you ever get that one song that you're listening to when you're like, you just like either just discover it or just brings back memories, and that you're like video editing or you're about to get in your setup and you're just bla blasting that music out, you know? But it's a song you really want to put into your walkthrough of like doing like a grind video or something like that, but you know you can't because YouTube's going to block your video or give you a copyright strike. I just found one of those songs. And. And it's by Silent Theory. And it's the first time I ever heard them too. I was listening on Pandora while I was washing dishes and stuff like that. It's called Burn It Down. And it's a really good song. It's like, I would love to put this into my video just to do like a grind session and just. You know, stick that in there, but then I'm like, yeah, YouTube's not gonna like that. <laughs> I hate the YouTube copyright crap like that. It's like, come on, they're not taking credit for it, they're just putting it in their video. Who the hell cares? But from that rambling on point, let's get on to worth our gear. Uh, a lot of things have changed. We are no longer using Ithras, and because we're level 31 right now, I had to grind for this. We're actually using Immortal, Immortal King's stuff. Uh, because it gives you 25 increased attack speed, but mostly I'm using it because it gives me 20 extra strength, 20 extra dexterity, an extra 125 attack rating, an extra 120 defense. Uh, that's just from the pairing of just between the gloves and the belt. The belt gives you 25 extra strength, uh, 31 lightning resistance, fire resistance to 28, you got that fast hit recovery. So just between that and this, you're getting like 45 extra strength on top. I paired it with the boots. You may hear people walking around. I got my window like completely opened. Um, I have 110 attack rating, 75 defense, at 44 life. The 25% chance of magic fine. I don't care. The rest is for barbarians, anyways. But you had 127 defense boots. You have 194 defense belts. You have a 236 defense gloves. So my webcam may actually be blocking it. I'm actually thinking about resetting up my green screen, even though it's a pain in the ass to do. Uh, rings, I don't think it changed. I changed one of the rings out for this because my. Uh, poison resistance was actually a lot lower than it actually was since we do no longer have a max up poison resistance um, using this just strictly because it has the 30% life steal it has some more health it's got the 12% energy or 12 to energy it's got the resistances um, using peasant's crown because it gives me that one skills the faster rock weight faster run walk 100 fence but most because it gives you that 20 vitality the 20 energy the replenish to life so it should hopefully keep our sorceress alive a little longer since we have 322 health and 221 mana uh one thing i've noticed too is that uh where the hell's that um energy shield is at 59 percent right now and it actually takes it's actually been taken out out of my mana instead of my health for a certain amount of damage that I've actually been doing. Uh, I think I have this on player 7 at the moment. Where the hell's the thing at? Yeah. I'm going to switch it back to players 1. Um, just to see where... how much experience I would actually get. Not getting that much. Uh, even at level 30, I was barely getting any experience in Chaos Sanctuary, even at player 7. And barely getting any experience, even at player 7 on... Uh, fighting normal enemies in uh, Act 5. Um, I did get all the way up to the waypoint, but I did not kill Shank. So, let's do that. Oh, and before that too, uh, made an extra spirit, and made an extra, and we have this, I'm not going to try to pronounce that goddamn name, uh, thing for our sorcerer, so that's three extra skills right there, so it gives us a level 6 frozen armor. And will give us a level 13 energy shield, so it's 65% it will absorb with like 864 <laughs> duration time. So that's like what almost 10 minutes almost. And then a level uh, 17 a chance, so. so we're actually sitting at uh, 219 to 369. Uh, I was originally using a Frono Stride. But I decided to switch them out because of the attack rating for our sorcerers, which we're gonna need. We're only sitting at like it was like 88% or some crap like that. So even with our higher chance and the bonus attack readings from Immortal K, you know, 92%. So we're not even at 95%, which is considered to be 100% accuracy. So.
And for Merc, uh, I didn't change anything for Merc. Not yet. Uh, eventually will. Would you stop running away, fat boy? As you can see, they're actually taking it out of my mana too. I'm actually having to actually replenish my mana a lot more than I normally ever had to. But I'm glad to actually see, see that it's actually working. So, I mean, I guess for the point of you need to actually put a decent amount of points into energy shield for in order for it to actually start absorbing out of your mana. Even then, I still barely have any points in there. I have like base is 22, so not even that much. So, um, from right now, as, as I can say for the experiment wise, I uh, highly recommend not using energy shield into your higher level sorceress who's going to have a lot more mana because you will burn through that goddamn mana real quick. So, oh, we have a mini boss, sirs. <laughs> Shits are annoying. You little turds, you know what? Screw you guys. If you're just gonna run away, I'm not gonna bother with you. Little shits. Worth, not worth my goddamn time. I'm gonna tell, th teleport through most of these idiots. They're just not worth it when enemies just continuously just run away. But one big side note is, I did beat Borderlands 1 uh, again. I've only beaten Borderlands 1 twice in my life of ever owning that goddamn game. Once was when Xbox Live was still a thing for the 360. And I recently just beat it yesterday, I think it was. Um, let me tell you, the end boss is uh, broken. I do not like the end boss for um, Borderlands 1. Because when you play on single player, if you die, the boss gets full health all over again and you have to refight the boss. But if you play on multiplayer, what I noticed, the boss, if all your players die, the boss's uh, health remains the same. So if you get it halfway oh, halfway down, uh, the boss health will remain halfway down. No getting full health type of crap. And it started to irritate me too because I'm like, oh, this boss is going to be super easy. You know, I'm going to keep my distance and something like that. And it turns out the boss has very long very long arm length on top of the fact that he can shoot up missiles that explode at you that will one shot your shields <laughs> sir you little shits always running away stop that and uh, it took me about three tries and a lot of rage before I beat him but uh, I was playing as a Roland, so I just used my turret and had my turret do like 900 damage I hit. It kind of saved me a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm like, never again! <laughs> and I've just re restarted up Borderlands 2. And uh, don't think we've ever beaten Borderlands 2 with the Commando. I don't remember what his goddamn name is. And so we just restarted up with the Maya, the uh, Siren, and so far with a lot of shit I've seen of her, some of her in-game skills are completely goddamn broken. So I'm like, hmm, start a Siren. <laughs> uh, so that's been quite fun. I know Zero gets a lot of hate too. People don't like him at all. But he's like, he's an assassin. What do you expect? You know, he's not going to go in there guns blazing and stuff like that. He's all about stealth and sniper rifles. Oh, the waypoint. The one thing I never get here. <laughs> Why? Because it's the one area you almost never go back to. But, uh... Got some house cleaning done. Got my room clean. Got the dishes done and all that stuff, so... Uh, getting these recordings in. And, ooh, this is going to be interesting. He still hit me for a good amount of damage, too. Um, ooh, this is not good. Merc, you might need a little help here. Spine spawn of the mad. One well, minute, I'll get to my conversation. I'd rather not die having Amplify on my goddamn sorceress. Um, the 25th, which is a Monday, there will be no video that day because I have a job upcoming. And then 
sometime after within that week-ish era, uh, schedule will change because I'll be going back to work full time. So, but I will keep you guys updated on the Twitter about that. Whatever, whatever. Ten minutes, maybe just rambling on. <sighs> stuff here. So far I can definitely say this has been my most challenging um, run yet. Well, you may hear a chopper in the background. We have our uh, electric company flying around. We've got high winds and all that shit. So. Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't want that feeding back into my mic as best as possible. Because I know what that'll sound like. It'll sound like a big old fan right next to your goddamn mic. And Yeti mic will pick up everything. Uh... Merc, you lagging behind again, son. Come on now. Pick up the pace. I got Amplify on me. I do not need to die. I've already died twice or once to Mephisto. Whatever the hell it was. <laughs> I got the memory of a goddamn fly. It's probably about getting old. <laughs> Especially when you get those moments when you uh, walk in a room and then you forget why you walked in there. It's like, why did I walk in this room for Ooh. Blue Man Group. How much room do we got? Uh, we'll have enough. We gotta sell some of this junk anyways. <laughs> We're looking at here. 12 minutes. Uh, we may have enough time to get on you. After that, I don't know. We'll see. Because knocking out Act 3 and then knocking out Act 4... Each put a like 25 to 30 minutes ready to go, so. Um, I think after once we finish this up, which we technically could finish up this week, if I was to cut out the trailer reaction and post a Diablo 2 video for Friday, depending how far we get. Um. We'll see, because there are some game reviews I want to do, but I don't want to put them on Friday, because each game review I want to try to at least make 30 minutes if I can. At least give you some sort of, wait a minute, uh, some sort of content. But I want to kind of save them for uh, after we finish this walkthrough, so that it just doesn't interfere with it and something like that, so. Because I have like... Psst. Five or six games lined up. I gotta do like full run tests on them, make sure. But the amount of power that they take, I should easily be able to run them with on this computer and with OBS. So, uh, and then we'll decide after that if people want to see like a walk through them. They'll all be completely blind for at least some of them because some of them are just like strictly like strategy type of games, and then some of them are actually like full length actual games. So. Seventy-eight percent just for these guys. Oh, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Three thirty-six. So three eighty. Hmm. That means that my chances for 
for bail alone are going to be like in the maybe mid 50s. You know, early 40s or mid mid 50s, if I have to guess. Because bosses tend to have a higher defense than anything else. So your chances of actually hitting them are going to be a lot harder. We hear cars go by, so I do apologize. We have 15 minutes. We still haven't found on yet. Come on now. Where's Awning at? Mark? You want to get away from the corner there, son? That'd be real nice of you. God damn it. Keep hitting that. I thought I'd just take that off. Uh, of course. Everyone comes to the party. You're not invited. As you can see, I'm still taking a, a small percentage damage. Small percentage. Small percentage of damage to my health. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to talk too fast. <laughs> you guys are just like everywhere in this place, aren't you? Come on, where the hell's Arnie at, damn it? It's like 16 and a half minutes. Still no Arnie? I know pizza services are quicker than this. I know, because I used to work in the pizza industry. Used to work in a hometown pizza place and used to work at Pizza Hut. And, uh, let me tell you. Pizza Hut's not fun. It's like, come on, you could slowly hit him there. Uh. Mark ever gets his ass up here and starts helping me out. What about you, idiots? Alright, screw this. We're, we're teleporting around. Where the hell is goddamn Oni at? This is taking way too damn long. Mark, I'll help you out as best I can, everybody. The goddamn GPS that keeps telling you to take a left, take a left, and all you're doing is just one big ass circle. Like something's wrong here. We haven't reached our destination yet. Alright, we got any room? No. This will actually help us out max out our poison resistance that we'll be lacking anyway, so. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much maxed out on that. Watch what crappy orb she gives me, then we'll end the video. These NPCs, even on normal difficulty, they don't give you crap of anything good. Thank you. Can you lift up? Yeah, we got her. Two chili and iron, two Inferno. I'm like, who the hell uses Inferno? And 80 poison damage. So unless I'm gonna go around whacking people with a goddamn orb, this is completely useless to me. Get that garbage out of here. Sell that too. Uh, so we'll end the video here, and then we'll, um, next part will be make our way up to the Ancients. See how well that goes. <laughs> like I said, Ancients may be the game ender. I said that with Mephisto, and I said that Diablo, we managed to beat Mephisto. On player 7, but still died to him. We beat Diablo even on players 1. He was still somewhat of a challenge. Almost died to him. But Ancients are the ones... Is is the punching bag that's going to punch you back. You know, if you can't get past Ancients, you are going to struggle real bad against Bale. But, um... We'll see. So, stay tuned for that. But, uh... Either way, drop a like. 
that we subscribe, leave comments below, and make sure to check them all out. See you guys.